guys and welcome back to my channel happy new year if you are tuning in um and you know it's still in january whenever you listen to this video is fine but happy new year to you uh so i have some exciting news if you've been following my journey you know that i'm studying for my the national and state exam uh here in texas and good news i passed I actually passed on new year's eve so i came into 2021 license so today's video is of course to tell you guys how I studied, what I studied, how long I studied, all those gems because I know you know a lot of us are, are on this journey together. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn your notifications on and let's get started. Alright so first things first, as you guys know if you've seen my other videos I did use Aceable Agent to actually complete all six of my courses. Um, so with Aceable Agent they actually had kind of a state I think they broke it down it was state I'm gonna to try to include some clips somewhere um, they had a state prep a national prep and like this combined prep so I did all three of those um, I did the the prep exams and all those as well so make sure whatever school whatever course you're going through utilize that resource you know don't necessarily just go buy something else because someone else tells you to but take a look at that um, and see if you know what else you think you may need to study but I completed all of those I went through like that whole little oh, okay if I can show you a piece of it I will um, but I went through, I completed all those um, exams and the exam preps. So that was my first thing or something I kind of did throughout. Now one thing I actually showed in my other video, number two, um, I got these real estate prep cards and I'll leave the link for this and everything that I can remember what I'm sharing with you in the description box below as well. Um, but I got these little uh, flashcards. Now you don't necessarily need to buy them. You can really just make these Quizlet. Um, depending on who you're using to study they may actually have some flashcards as well but I purchased these off Amazon and so I did kind of use these a little bit throughout I actually didn't go through all of them I went through maybe like a maybe like not quite half just because I was utilizing so many other resources as well but I did like them because I would like take just like 10 or like a little stack and I would just kind of have them sitting out so like first thing when I wake up I would go over a few um, vocab words you know then take like another stack out so that way kind of like throughout my day I was kind of going through them um, now depending on what you do I work from home so I was able to kind of keep that part going I'm taking a break taking a lunch or something like that but like I said I these are definitely not necessary like you don't need to go buy them these are just something I picked up um, you can definitely get by without them but they, if you still if you do struggle with vocab and that repetition is something that you need um, whether you purchase them or you go print them or you make them I would really suggest getting flashcards because that repetition is very good however you choose to do so so that's number two Number three, um, if you can join a Facebook group or some sort of study group, um, I was actually in two. So one was just kind of like a general one for national um, and then one was for specifically for Texas. So make sure that if you can, you know, I know COVID and everything, maybe if you meet with somebody, please be safe. But other than that, join some sort of study group online or this Facebook or if you're whatever course that you're going through um, has some sort of study material, study group, join that because that really does help. Sometimes I'm just kind of, you know, just getting someone else's opinions, um, helping someone else, someone else helping you. Uh, so that's really great as well. Now number four, I think we're on number four. Uh, I actually went to, and this is specifically for Texas, but I'm sure like whatever state you're in, you know, they probably have something, whatever their real estate commission is as well. Um, but for Texas, I went to the Trek website and I will actually link, leave a link because the couple of videos I saw that referenced it never leave, never left a link. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I went to the right one. Um, but I actually went to the Trek website and I reviewed their frequently asked questions. And so it's really a broad range of things, but I just kind of like went through, um, looked at certain things, like if it sounded more of like, um, uh, more of a fact, not just someone typing in a question, but if it, you know, you can kind of tell like what's, okay, this actually is good material. If it's re uh, referring to a law, if it's referring how to renew your license or something like that, that's actually good material. And these are people from whoever's answering it from Trek. So it's, it's going to be correct. Um, and up to date more than likely. So that's really good. So make sure you look at the frequently asked questions. Um, if you're Texas, it's Trek. If you're in another state, um, whatever your real estate commission, take a look and see what they, what resources that they have on there as well. Now Trek also does provide, not provide, but you can purchase real estate exam preps. I didn't, but just FYI, um, they're, they may be really good because they may be worded very similar to the test. So that's a great thing as well. Now, uh, number five, kind of going back to that wording. Now when you're looking at exam preps, and my best tip is going to be last, so stay tuned <laughs> to the end. Um, now number five, as far as exam preps, that's going to be one of your biggest things, is that you want to get those exam preps in, whether it's through your course, whether it's someone that you, uh, another course that you purchase, or if you're just viewing them online, make sure you get those exam preps in, um, because that's going to really kind of jog your 
your not your memory because sometimes you're, if you're just memorizing things that's great because some of them will just be straight vocab tech or vocab uh, questions but you need to be able to apply situations um, whether it's math vocabulary you know whatever but you have to be able to apply those two situations because I will say on the test wording can be very very tricky and so if you just have like kind of a broad scope on it you know it could help but a lot of times they get kind of into those details those fine tunings uh, those fine you know the read between the line kind of things and so they kind of mess with you a little bit with that so you want to make sure that you actually understand your vocabulary understand the math or whatever uh, because they they can get very tricky and it's you know if you don't get it right you don't get it right so uh, make sure that you do those exam preps and I kind of did exam preps from a little bit of everywhere and I did that because one um, I didn't really got to see how other people word it you know because I took some and they seemed really easy and I was like okay this is too easy and then I took others and you know it was it was more challenging confusing but I needed that because that wording is really is what's going to um, kind of hope help you kind of understand those those topics better so make sure you do exam prep or yeah those test practices exam preps so the ones that I did um, I looked at YouTube videos there's a couple of them I'm gonna try to find those and link those in the description box but I went I looked at two YouTube videos that were just straight um, questions you know the person will read it give the answer explain it um, I did two or three with Aceable agent so I did all of their um, practice exams and then I did another one with the prep agent. So I, I purchased that course as far as my study, um, just to study for the national and state exam. I think they offer like the other courses as well, but I purchased the um, that in particular. So I did a couple of their exam preps or their practice exams as well. And I think those are probably some of the best ones because um, it kind of sucks when you don't always get them right, but they really, really help to challenge you and they help you to understand them. And it just makes you that much more confident when you actually take the test. So practice exams, I definitely believe are key. Uh, so now this was something I actually found in one of my exam prep groups. So that's why it's a great, you know, it's really great to be in a part of those because you just never know what you're gonna run across. But this was kind of like, I mean, it was kind of like a quick cheat sheet. Um, so that was really good. And this one of the ladies just kind of put it in there and I actually went and printed it out Um, so it just kind of has like different um, equations it's got a lot of quick vocab so this was something I actually looked at like the I looked at it all through but especially the day before and that morning of I just kind of I really liked it because it was really just a great um, I don't want to put it up because it has her name on it but um, it was really just a great thing so if you can get some sort of kind of like cheat sheet or make your own or something like that a quick reference or I'm sure you can google it and you can probably find some others I just happened to find to run across hers um, this is actually one of the practice exams from prep agent and so things like that I just printed out because it was just really really easy for me just to go back and reference them kind of get that going um, and I would highlight and make any notes so if it was something I felt like I hadn't seen before um, like some of the laws or something like that I would just highlight them so I could go back and research it later um, so I could get a better understanding so that's another exam so those practice exams are gonna help you a lot and you want to find the ones that are a little bit challenging because if you just stick to the easy ones that that may bite you in the butt later so you know get something that's gonna be challenging so that uh, yeah so create yourself like a little cheat sheet that's really great too or find one that's why those groups are great Google is great whatever uh, so I think the last thing that I have to share, um, like I said, I got prep agent uh, and that was probably the best thing that really helped me a lot. It was really a combination of everything because I kind of picked from a little bit of a lot of resources. So that really made me feel more confident. The tests, some of them were still challenging, you know, anyway, because you're trying to absorb and remember so much stuff. Uh, but prep agent really, really helped. And I think that one of the biggest things besides the practice exams, know your vocab, but uh, I looked at a lot of YouTube videos, but in particular, I looked at Prep Agents. He does have YouTube videos, um, you know, for free on YouTube, but you can also purchase the um, the test prep or the exam prep, and that's what I did. And so I looked at that day before. I probably looked at seven to ten videos, like as much as I could kind of squeeze in. I was up like all night, just kind of go over it, going over it, because it almost feels like you're sitting in a class, and I really like that, and they're very, very detailed. Um, the teachers are great in there, so that was that was probably one of my biggest things to really help me absorb some of those concepts. It was really great for math too, because for, I thought Aceable Agent really it was okay on the prep, but it wasn't. Um, if I had solely done that, I don't know if I would have passed. Just being honest. So um, those webinars really really helped because it made me feel like I was sitting in an actual classroom. So I would suggest purchasing. It may not have to be Prep Agent, but maybe something similar because you need to understand those concepts, not just go over. I know sometimes people just practice. 
um, just purchase practice exams and go over that, which can be great, but sometimes if you don't get a, a question very similar um, to the one that you practice, you know, it, they can trick you again. So you need to understand them. And so those webinars really helped me to understand concepts, really helped me to understand some of the math. Um, but there was a couple other YouTubers that I also found, found and I will try to link them um, in the description box as well. That really helped me to understand a couple things. I know a lot of people struggle on the math. Uh, the math wasn't too bad, really. I didn't think there was a couple of them. Uh, it, and it wasn't they weren't bad they were just complex and by that time I think my brain was like already fried so uh, luckily enough I kind of just gave it my best answer so make sure that you are you know you're eliminating some that you know are not correct you know just do your process of elimination if you know something's actually can, can cannot be correct if you haven't heard of a term don't choose it uh, that's not the time you to be risking it then um, so just make sure you know use your use your brain towards it if you don't know always try to make your best educated guess uh, for me, I thought the national was a little bit trickier than the state. Uh, also, and that was just me in particular, I've also heard vice versa. Now, I will say on the state, you do have less questions, so you can't miss as many. So, uh, you want to be confident on that as well. That's not by any means like, to, like oh, I can just not study state. No, you need to because it, it didn't take as many to, to not pass it. But those are my tips. If I can remember anything else, I'll make another video. Good luck to everyone. Happy New Year, and I will see you next time.